I told you I was gonna do an owl save copy between parts. Eee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So I'm of course over here at Milk Road because I was the nearest owl statue. So what we're gonna do here is uh yeah, we're gonna go and flop back over to the ring. Oh wait, is this the correct way? No wait, no, this isn't all oh, poopers. Camera got me all mixed up. <laughs> So the reason why you want an owl save is because of the thing of there being a certain sort of kind of event coming up that's kind of tricky to do. Let's just put it that way. And now let's explore the ranch here a little bit more though. Uh, it seems Keith and the gross fox plays tricks in the grass. You know those moving grass giblets like you seen just outside the ranch here that you might have seen when I bumped into it as a Goron? Yeah, those are the, the kinds of things you'll find Keith in that. Uh, oh my, did you come from town? Yes, I did, Creamia. And that means Milk Road was open to traffic. Good, I can deliver milk to town now. Welcome to Romani Ranch, Chateau Romani's village. Enjoy yourself. So now she got added to the notebook. Let's take a look at the time that happens, though. Uh, no, not, An not Anju. There we go. See, it's on second day. But if you don't do this quest, it isn't going to work out. It's not going to make it. <laughs> so you got to do that ghost alien quest thing of sorts that's coming up here. And I don't know if I can do it to this cow, but let's just see for kicks. If you play the... Uh, maybe not. If you play Epona Song next to a cow, you can get free milk from it. But it doesn't seem to be giving me... No, it doesn't seem to give any indication with that doo -doo 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 that you usually get. It's a Romani bread. My father left us an inheritance from the heavens. The special Romani bread cows are the source of Chateau Romani, the most desired of forbidden milk. It is a mystical milk that fills you with magic power. If you seek the dreamy milk of Chateau Romani, please visit Latte near Clock Town's East Gate. That was my sales pitch. I wonder if I said it just like it's written in the brochure. Well, well, it, it was okay. Now, you might want to ride around your horse just to get the hang of the horse, or... Remember we got the bunny hood? This is probably more useful than the horse in a lot of cases, like what's coming up here. So let me show you how that works. Here's your normal speed. Bunny speed! Normal speed. Bunny speed! Yeah, and you have a lot more control over your land movements and whatnot too, so that's that's a pretty nice thing, I've got to say. But if you want a tutorial on your horse, which they did not give you when they threw, thrust you into that minigame last part, da 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 to befriend the horse, yeah, see all this stuff, it's basically showing you how to do it. Hold forward, press A to gallop, move with the control stick. If you uh, head into, say, one of these fences directly, like you're moving into it directly, you can go ahead and jump it with your horse, which is something that you can't do as swiftly on the bunny hood. But at the same time, the bunny hood is just so, so much more useful in a lot, <laughs> in a lot of cases, especially since the horse doesn't tend to jump all the time. But here, I'll show you too, just for kicks. Uh, and by kicks, I mean this might not work out at all. Basically, hold forward, go approach a fence straight on. Uh, I was at a slight angle there, and that's what happens if you go at a slight angle. Alas, alas. Let's try it again. There's another gossip stone over there, but come on, come on. Come on, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do it. Maybe he can't, she can't jump it from this side? Uh, let's try the other side. Let's see, this is... I could just, yeah, I could be avoiding this just by going around around it with the bunny hood. You can't jump this fence at all? Are you serious? I find that hard to believe. <laughs> it's, it's, hold on a sec, I, I think this is jumpable. But I'm not positive at this. Yeah, it is jumpable! <laughs> That's why the horse controls are a little bit finicky. Alright, so I'm, I'm not going to be using the horse for the upcoming giblet, let's just put it that way. We're going to be using the bunny hood. But for now, we're actually going to just put regular arrows on there. Set the mask of truth on there, just for the sake of the future. 
swap it out and let's read this thing to see what it has to say. Seems Kathy, whose whereabouts are unknown, is awaiting a letter from Anju. Yes, yes, yes. So we got a little more info on the Kathy quest type thing. Sorta, kinda. <laughs> it's not that helpful though. Uh, where was that other gossip stone that we... Oh, there it is. It just popped into existence. And let's give it a read. I can't read it from this side because it's facing... I I don't know. I don't... It's like my heart is being peered at right into. That's it. Oh, I'm not into... There we go. I'm not into the mask of truth in, in the stone's defense. Uh-huh. The animal's band leader's mask seems to have the strange power of making young animals mature. Yeah, that's the thing that we learned of on how to make the chickadees grow up in the other barn. Got it! Good. Okay, let's do another side quest over here. Now that I showed you eh, most of the place, there's still the inside of the house, I guess, but there's nothing... I mean, like I should say, there's nobody in there right now. <laughs> So this is a doggy racetrack. This is Mamu Yun's doggy racetrack. No, 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 you are Rosie O'Donnell. Don't you dare try to confuse me. I know Rosie O'Donnell when I see her. You want to try a dog race? Minimum bet is 10 rupees. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you want to fetch the doggy that you think will run the fastest and bring it here? You got to win um, uh, over 150 rupees in order to get a heart piece out of this. But basically, we gotta pick up doggies and figure out... No, that doesn't sound like a winner. We're looking for one that says he's unstoppable, or she's unstoppable, or whatever. That's the winner! <laughs> it only took me two guesses, but it is possible to win this without the Mask of Truth, but... I... You're gonna burn a lot of rupees. Yes, this doggy is perfectly fine. The dog is walking on air, which means that he is gonna go in turbo speed. And chances are, if you've got the dog that says that it's unstoppable, you'll always get your bet back. So I just like to bet the maximum of rupees just to speed things along. And hope for the best. Ready? Steady? Go! The one you picked has got the arrow above the head. There's other identical colored dogs in with the mix. <laughs> Including a blue and yellow dog. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, uh... Well, it looks like our unstoppable doggy is doing pretty well, but that doesn't mean it'll win. Because you see, there's a lot of randomizers to this one, just like other minigames in this game. So, you're not a guaranteed winner if you pick the dog that says it's unstoppable. And this is actually going to be really close. Ah, oh, second place! See what I mean? See what I mean? <laughs> It's just a tragedy, I tell you. A tragedy! But we got our bet back. Sweet Hounds of Happiness. You took second, that's amazing. And we're good. Yeah, we get 180 rupees, but, you know, we run out of rupees to. I mean, we run out of room in our wallet to hold them all, so Link is just like, eh, I'll just throw them on the ground. Whoever wants them can pick them up. <laughs> so we get a bonus prize. Oh, wait, hold on a sec. Oh, yeah, because I won over 150 rupees, so I don't have to get first place, I guess. <laughs> So that's, uh, yeah, I guess that's a pretty nice thing, but I would like to sort of see her other first place dialogue. Plus, I'd like to see if, uh, don't feel much different than usual. You get out of my sight, then. <laughs> I'd also like to show you all the doggies dialogue. And let's see here. Belly hurts. Oh, no. I'll just throw you over the fence, then. You don't feel like racing. <laughs> Should do pretty well. That doesn't sound like a winner to me. So yeah, any doggy that doesn't sound like it's feeling unstoppable, you can just throw them out and then... Oh. Did I? Oh, come on! Really? <laughs> okay, there we go. So whatever doggy says it's unstop unstoppable, just take her to Madame Rosie O'Donnell and then we go and see here. Don't feel much different. You are going to the dog pound. <laughs> A wife and child, there's no way I'll lose. That sounds like a good chance, but not good enough. Uh, it's just got some rupees that we don't need because our wallet is full. There's also bugs behind the racetrack that you can use for that dirt patch. Um, I'm just kind of... Oh, shooty shoots. I stayed up too late. Oh, wait, oh, shoot. I didn't read that too quick. I mean, I, I clicked too quick. I'm sorry. Stayed up too late. <laughs> that is true. That's never a good sign when you're tiring yourself out like that. 
to roll for this. Oh no, you're not, you aren't gonna win, so I'm just gonna throw you to the ground and hope that your leg will be fine. Uh, unstoppable, there we go. Hopefully I got all the doggy dialogue here. But, uh, for, for this match here, let's just do our duty here, 90 rupees, let's see how it turns out. And let, I'm gonna keep doing this until I get first place. Maybe I'll get first place this time, but we'll see. <laughs> Um, if this was like in the European ESRB type thing, this would get an M rating because of gambling. That's why they removed the Game Corner games from Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, the slot machines. I kid you not. <laughs> so, because of gambling, this would have gotten the M rating because this is technically gambling right now because it's a dog race betting thing. Alright, we got first place that time. So, yeah. See, Unstoppable One has a chance of winning, a good chance, but not a guaranteed chance. I got first place, 270 rupees. Uh, what's the bonus prize? Oh man, I can't even hold it all. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I am a happy camper. So I'm just gonna give you a little tour of the dog racetrack here, really quick. Oh yeah, and Gossip Stone. Gossip Stone. Da 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 da. It seems that drinking Chateau Armani makes your magic power last for three days. Yeah, unlimited magic power if you drink Chateau Armani. Oh, and take a look at this. Watch these bugs here. Uh, watch them. See, they go partially in the ground. That's Majora's Mask Polish for ya. <laughs> and, uh, um,. If you take those bugs over to one of those dirt patches, like the one in the, do the doggy pen over there. See, it's right over here. I believe you'll get 20 rupees out of it, but her wallet is full, so... Meh. <laughs> so, now I guess all we have to do here is wait until morning-ish. Well, I should say middle of the night-ish. So, what I'm gonna do here is speed things along, of course. Wait, wait. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Da, da, do, 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 do. There we go, Song of Double Time. And I'll also return the time to regular speed as well, just to kind of get the clocks moving a little bit quicker. It'll also make it easier to defend the ranch from the onslaughts of stuff as well, in a way, because time moves by quicker, so you don't have to last as long. <laughs> so for once, the Song of Double Time is useless to us. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, I mean, not the Song of Double Time, the uh, Song of Inverted Time, excuse me. So, yeah, that, for once we want to remove the slow time and return the flow of time to normal. And I guess what I'll do here before I cut ahead until 2 in the morning is give you a little tour of the barn and the house and stuff like that. There isn't anyone in here, as I said. It's just something. Well, I guess there is a doggy. Maybe the doggy will have something good to say to us. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Grab, grab, grab. There we go. I wonder if I cue face on I'll be. He's still practicing. This is the same doggy, really. <laughs> oh, there is someone in here at night. Okay. That mask. Oh, that's right. The town should be having its carnival soon. Uh, so I guess they're not here during the day, but they're here at night. Hey, yeah. Uh, don't you have an? You can't, oh, come on, come on, come, there we go, you can't be too close, I guess. That mask, oh, that's right, the town should be here. Wait, are you both saying the same thing? Oh, you just kind of transfer the conversation over to Creamia. Interesting. Now, if you go up here, you can see these sleeping quarters. It's, uh, yeah, nothing in here. <laughs> just something to look around in, basically. And now we gotta wait until 2 in the morning, like literally wait. If we played the Song of Double Time, there wouldn't be a, a time for it to stop, basically, because it would go all the way over to 6 in the morning of the next day, and we've gotta be here at 2 in the morning, if you recall. And, oh, 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 cows are in here! Hold on, hold on! Can I get milk from these cows now, because they're not being petted? Maybe. Hold on. Yes! 
Ooh, nice music. It reminds me of the pasture. That song just makes me want to let go and put out a lot of milk. I'll give some to you. Milk will make you very healthy. And that chicken just teleported. <laughs> there we go. So that's how you get free milk without the, having to pay 50 rupees to those swindlers. And you can do that as many times as you want. There's also a couple of rupees in here. Uh, oh, one more thing. I, I know I just keep going from one thing to the other, but there's a vantage point of sorts behind this house going up over here. Yeah, you can shoot stuff from up here, but it's honestly kind of hard to do that. <laughs> but you can go up here. Just, just saying. But yeah, you mostly want to just run around the field by yourself and take care of business. Oh, and wait, did I get the, um, yeah, I know, I thought of another thing. Did I get the, uh, um, oh, shoot, what did I do? I want to go to that, that mask. Did I get the gossip stone over here? I think I did. Anyway, I'm going to wait until 2 in the morning, and I mean literally wait, because unfortunately there's nothing else that I can do other than prepare my bow and arrow with full arrows, if you don't have that already. And yeah, I'm going to be doing this in the bunny mask rather than the horse, because it's significantly easier, so... Alright, let's wait it out. I got an idea. I will do an owl save at midnight here, just, just to make sure that all will go swimmingly. Like, in case things go bad, I can just resume from my owl save. Got it? Good. It is time to meet your maker, Soda. So she see her over. Here. She's like, like, yeah. She's like, oh, it's almost time. You take care of things outside, Grasshopper. If you have a map, watch your map carefully. Okay, whatever happens, do not let them get into the barn. Come from behind the barn too, so watch out. We run out arrows. We have the crates near the house to sell. Stock up when you need to. Okay, okay. So prepare it. Prepare your body, because it has begun. Well, actually, it hasn't begun just yet. When does it begin? Was it like 2.30 or something like that, or was it 3 o'clock? I forgot. Um, it's 2.30 now. Oh, yep, 2.30. Oh, man. Oh, man. Not the ghosts of doom. Or they're like ghost aliens of doom. But anyway, bunny, oh, pff, bunny hood plus bow. Kill off these suckers. Well, actually, that one's not even close to... Yeah, the closest one, uh, the doggy will bark to, by the way. So, whichever one is closest to the barn, you wanna... Yeah, you just, just shoot him off with an arrow, there we go. Just having a good time with that. And you just wanna try and make it until morning. You know, it's it's a, it's a keep-away game, basically. There's another one. And the barn is to your left here, so they're all going over for those cows. It's not really that big of a deal or anything, just as long as you know what to do, but it's still sorta of, kinda of tricky in a way. Yeah, so you might have to do this a couple times, that's why I said, hey, recommending you to kinda go and, uh, oh yeah, I don't have the map too, well, <laughs> I guess I should have bought it from Tingle, for once Tingle would have been, no, that's, he's still, he's still the rupee stealer, so no, he's not handy at all. <laughs> I was gonna say, for once he's handy, but no, 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 because you have to buy the map from him, he's still sucking the rupees out of you. Alright, you're just gonna keep killing him off like so. See, this is why I like the bunny hood method, because on the horse, it's just a whole lot more haphazard. <laughs> so yeah, we're almost made it to 6 in the morning, almost made it to the next day. I'm getting sort of low-ish on arrows, though. I know there's one coming for the back of the barn here. They go they go pretty slow, so it's just a matter of knowing where they come from, especially the one at the back of the barn more than anything. And just keep up. You'll be fine. All will be well. <laughs> I wonder if I should destroy one of those crates here really quick, just for the sake of seeing if there's arrows in there. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, wait, that contained... Quite a lot of arrows. I thought that the bundles of two contained just ten. Yeah, that contained a lot more than I thought. Well, <laughs> I'm not complaining because it's still hel helping us achieve a victory. Is the one that's behind the bar? Oh, we made it! Woo! Woo! Let me see! Woo! 
Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. We did it. We won. Thank you. Thanks to you, the cops are giving thanks to. Here's Ramani's thanks. When you drink it, put your hand on your hip and take a big gulp of do, do here at the ranch. It's a milk bar. That's not very useful. But what we actually did between doing this now is we've unlocked something else. See, because uh, she, remember her sister was going to take the cows over and deliver milk and stuff like that? Well, <laughs> without the cows and the milk, that wasn't going to happen because they were going to be abducted by aliens. So, yeah, we have saved the day and now we can do side quests number 36 over here. <laughs> Um, I think that I'm gonna do another owl save, uh, really quick, um, I think, well, actually, hold on, well, no, 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 oh, oh, this is a weird effect, for some reason, when it's going to the next day, look at that, it's shrinking the screen for some reason, why does it do that? I, is it trying to be dramatic or something like that? It just makes everything so squinched and blurry and, yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> At least it doesn't last very long. Alright, dawn of the second day, here we go. Uh, oh wait, I should actually now... ...do the song to slow time back down. Oh yes, how do you like those apples? Yes, yes, yes. So you didn't have to make it until 6, you just had to make it until 5.30. So yeah, alright. Um, okay, I will save really quick here. Actually, on my way back here, why not? <laughs> Let's go and buy the map for the ranch now, I suppose. I really should have gotten that earlier, but it didn't matter as much, as you've seen, because I was able to take care of that with relative ease. Yes, 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 yes. Reminding Ranch, I would like to buy one of the maps. And I, I should actually probably buy the Great Bay map as well, as long as I'm here too. There we go, Tingle Tingle Gulu Limpa, all copyrighted. You, Nintendo will file a copyright claim against this video because of that. <laughs> Great Bay, there we go. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and avoid copyright and go owl, go owl save. <laughs> Alright, now remember according to the Bomber's Notebook... Creamia? Yep, yep, night of the second day. So what we're gonna do here is just kinda use the power of the ocarina to skip ahead over to that time. Just for the sake of convenience. There we go, no need for a scare crow. And skip. So basically I just wanted to do the owl save way ahead of time, just just for the sake, because I'm not positive when I should say where it's gonna occur like where she's gonna stand I'm pretty sure it's near around here if I recall correctly um mm hmm no it's not here but it's got to be around somewhere of course maybe it's over by where that white dot is now on the map yep that's where it is okay hey hey how's it going Got an event for me? Oh, good evening. We're going to town on liver milk. Would you like a ride? Yeah, sure. So we're going for a ride. Yes. That's great. Tonight I'm kind of lonely. I welcome company. Even if you're wearing a bunny hood. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. And we are off. Riding into the sunsets. I guess it's been a while now since our father died. I'm trying to take care of the ranch, but things have been getting unstable lately. The calls always seem bothered and frazzled, and I'm finding broken bottles everywhere. Who's doing it? I don't know. My sister Romani has been worried too. She's practicing using a bow. She says it's to stop the ghosts. Say, who are the townsfolk saying about that moon? It's bigger than before, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't notice that early? Oh, never mind. In town, I have a friend. Her, her name's Andrew. Andrew, the day after tomorrow is her wedding. Mm, we're getting more info on that Andrew side quest. I wonder if it will fall, that thing. Not if I can help it. <laughs> do, 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 do. 
And on the way there, we're gonna kind of run into some trouble here. So there's a, for some reason, the, there's a gate put up here. That's that's kind of it's kind of weird. What? The road? Oh boy, get your bow ready. She knows something is up. Oh yes, side quest number thirty-six incoming. <laughs> So basically, we've got to shoot things that are kind of giving our caravan trouble. <laughs> First milk road is blocked by a boulder. And now, we have to take this detour through ugly country. Oh boy. Do you know which way they went? I know which way they went. Are you ready, boy? I'm going to try and get us through here as fast as I can. If any pursuers come from behind, chase them off with your arrows. They be after my cargo of milk bottles. I understand. Everyone wants that milk. Thanks, I'm relying on you. If we can get through here, I'll have big thanks to you. So the aliens wanted those cows. Oh, jeez! These guys want the milk. Alright. Let's get... Let's take care of business. You guys, stay away. Get back. Get back. No, you don't. No. <laughs> we got unlimited arrows. And man, these guys sound familiar. Hmm, I wonder who they are. I wonder who they are. Hmm, hmm, <laughs> right in the face. <laughs> it's like, eh, it doesn't really affect me that much. I've got this padded mask on. It doesn't really bother us all that much. Oh, no, you don't. No, 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 no. Don't, don't you dare get our milk. There is no chance. No, you don't. No, 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 you, n neither of you are gonna touch the milk whatsoever. And as long as you make it to the end with um, at least one milk bottle intact, you will be good. It's another game of keepy uppy, basically. So yeah, the closest one is the one you want to focus on more than anything, but knocking them both back doesn't hurt either. I mean, you've got unlimited arrows, remember? So, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh! Oh, 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 oh shoot, oh shoot, oh, 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 getting close. What, what the heck is going on? Why are you... You shouldn't be doing this. What is this craziness? Look at those horses, by the way. <laughs> well, let's see. Mules, they are silly beings. Oh, jeez, okay. You you didn't make it. You didn't quite make it. Yes, you are not going to get our milk whatsoever. Everyone will be able to taste the sweet, sweet lactation but you as far as as I can help it. I mean, as, as long as I can help it. Excuse me. Alright. We're done. <laughs> Victory is ours. <laughs> oh, Mr. Barton was happy to get his first delivery in quite a while. Thank you. You were pretty cool. This isn't very big, but accept my thanks. We get the Romani's mask, we can get into the milk bar with this mask, which is handy for later. By doing one good deed, a child becomes an adult. That mask is only given to a limited number of adult customers. It is proof of membership. I now acknowledge you as being an adult. Woo! I have grown up just like that. And she vanishes in thin air. Where do we appear from? I guess over there. <laughs> yeah, this is the other side of Clock Town over here. So since we got our horse, we got a bunch of side quests and masks and stuff like that. I think... I am going to end off the part here. I'm gonna do an owl save because I don't remember if there's something else we need to do at this moment in time. So just in case, I'm gonna owl save it up. Got it? Good. <laughs> so with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I continue eh, this game, I guess. Eh.